not impressed with and it'll stop. No question, the member from Newmarket, Aurora. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. Speaker, I received an email yesterday afternoon and I want to put it on the record. On behalf of the pilots flying for our air ambulance service out of the Musini base, it reads as follows. This email is being forwarded to you on behalf of the pilots. Minister without portfolio will come the to order. The bottom line is that the helicopter that Orange is planning to send to Musini for the operational helicopter is basically the oldest Sikorsky 76 in the world with the least amount of automation. This after the only helicopter fatality in 35 years occurred in Musini and Orange promised to do everything to make our lives safer. Yet the bottom line is they are sending this machine because it is the cheapest to operate. Help us make the ministry wake up that Orange can't operate aviation. Speaker, this appeal is coming from the frontline pilots of our air ambulance service whose lives are once again being put at risk by the decision making at Orange. Question. On behalf of those pilots, I want to ask the minister, will she stand with these pilots and stop this wrong-headed decision Thank by you. Orange that will put our Thank pilots you. in harm's way? Thank you. Stop the Thank you. Minister of Health, Long-Term Care. Well, thank you. I, I uh, welcome the question from the member, and I think if he turned to his left and spoke to a pilot, he will learn that no pilots can fly, no planes can be flown unless they are airworthy and unless they are uh, uh, properly uh, um, accredited and approved by Transport Canada. So, uh, Speaker, you know, I, I, uh, I think it might be helpful if we just took a look at some of the remarkable claims the member opposite has made. He, he once claimed that tail rotors of helicopters like the ones Orange operates sometimes fall off. He was wrong. He read a directive that did not apply to Orange helicopters. He said an Orange contracted Pilatus aircraft crash landed at the Timmins Airport. That was wrong. And Orange's frontline staff wrote a letter affirming that the statement was completely misrepresenting our operation and especially the level of safety we work so hard Answer. to maintain. The member said there was no reference in the performance agreement to either critical care or advanced care paramedics. Thank you. The response is if. Thank you. Thank you. The Minister without portfolio will come to order, and the mem member from Halton will come to order, and I think it's both your second times. Supplementary. Speaker, the pilots that the Minister is putting at risk are not impressed with her response today. I am reading her an email from pilots at the Musini base who are concerned about the antiquated equipment that Orange is asking them to fly. And I'm asking this Minister, the next time one of those aircraft crashes, she has heard the warning from the pilots. And what they don't want to hear is more sympathy from this minister because she has had an opportunity to step in, stop a wrong-headed decision, and make sure that our pilots and our paramedics have safe equipment to fly in to, to deliver the kind of air ambulance service that they should be delivering to the people of this province. Will she stand with those pilots? Will she stand with those paramedics? Question. Do what's right and stop that wrong-headed decision. Thank you. Minister? He's challenged. Speaker, the member opposite knows that we have strong safety standards in Canada and at Orange. But let's go on, Speaker. Uh, the member claimed the member that Orange from hit the salaries of 79 employees. In fact, they were posted publicly online. He questioned the competence of hardworking public servants and claimed nobody in the ministry with oversight of Orange has experience in land or air ambulance. He's wrong. In fact, uh, there are 10 people in management or senior management roles with that kind of experience. Speaker, he claimed that the front lines are saying things are going from bad to worse. In fact, we had uh, Brandon Danhoff uh, at Scopa. He said that things at Orange are under the new leadership are definitely better. He claimed that two Transport Canada inspection reports suggested that Orange should not be in the aviation business. Wrong again. The truth is Transport Canada would have withdrawn Orange's operating certificate if they thought that was the case. They yes, didn't. On the contrary, they approved Orange's corrective action plan in May 2013, Speaker. Thank you. New question. The member for